Hello, I'm Jeff Dredders for ITBusiness.ca. And if, like me, you're in the market for a new smartphone, one you may want to consider is a new Microsoft Windows phone coming to Canada soon, the new Nokia Lumia 1020. We spoke with Nokia to learn a bit more about this new phone. Okay, so we're here today to talk about the 1020, which has been announced for both TELUS and Rogers. It's going to be coming soon. The actual official announce date hasn't been given yet. So some of the nice features about it is, it is a nice 4.5 inch display, dual core, 2 gigahertz uh, of RAM, as well as 32 gigs of uh, memory for you. So more than enough to take all the pictures. And then the one big wow feature is the camera. 41 megapixel camera. So the best camera there is on any phone out there in the market right now. So what does that mean for the customer? Great pictures that they can take and then be able to use without any with pure clarity and any problems from there. Now to get the great camera, what we have done is we've actually done a lot of engineering behind it as well. To do that, there's a little bit of a bump, but the nice part about it is there's actually six springs built into this. It's actually also on ball bearings as well. So the camera app, we have our basic little interface that you've seen. We've all seen this before, but what you can do is slide this over to the right and you're able to actually play around with all the different settings. So those of us who are camera bus, we can play around with the ISO, we can play around with the shutter speed, we can play around with the light settings as well. Now those of us who aren't shutter, or people who are big into cameras, this stuff here is very intuitive because as I change one setting, all the other settings will go automatically for me as well. So it makes it easy for me to get the best picture and the best clarity out of any picture possible out there on the market. The other nice feature about the Windows operating system, very easy to get around, just hit the Microsoft button to get ourselves back into the main screen. And then we have Nokia Drive, nice exclusive from Nokia, right? Free turn-by-turn -turn navigation for as long as the phone works, right? You can download the maps ahead of time and be able to turn your data off. So if you go traveling to Europe or into Asia, you can download the maps as you see fit and be able to uh, use the data without any data from there, which is really nice, especially for those of us who get to travel quite a bit. Last but not least, the next nice little nice app that's come out for Nokia, it just came out this summer, it's called Nokia Music. So those of us who have to take the subway, we don't get any service onto it, but we'd like to listen to music from there. So while you're listening, what you can do is go under here, go under your top mixes, for example, and you can actually, just gonna give it a little second here to download, you can actually choose a mix that you'd like. So let's say, for example, I would like to pay the most played pop. Press and hold for three seconds and make available offline. So while I'm in a Wi-Fi at home or while I'm in Wi-Fi at work, I can download my mix of radio, of music ahead of time and listen to it on this, the subway. So the spec wise, you got the dual core, uh, 1.7 gig processor, right? You got the two gigs built in of RAM, so really quick to use. 32 gigs of built in memory, not expandable, but I think two to 32 is more than enough for the average customer, right? And then you got this LTE capability. It doesn't have wireless charging. You can buy this little extra case for it to make the wireless charging capable. It has NFC built into it from there, so it makes itself nice and easy. And again, for those camera buffs, we have the extra accessory. This little guy here to make it a nice little high camera grip. And the nice part about the camera grip is it's got a 1,000 milliamp battery built into it. To go on top of the 2,000 milliamp battery that you already have in there, you can hold on to it and take easier pictures from there.